hi all in this session we are going to learn about case the need of case tools what all are the case taxonomy and classifications available etc let first understand what is case case stand for computer aided software engineering that is software engineering is done with the help of other softwares or computers Software engineering is the application of systematic, disciplined and quantifiable approach on the development, operation and maintenance phases of a software. So all these phases like development and maintenance can be automated with the help of various software tools. The benefits of using case tool is it will reduce the software development time and cost and thereby make the product development more profitable. The second advantage is it will provide quality documentation which will ensure a quality product and though we have a quality documentation the maintenance process will be much easier. It will also reduces the burden on the software engineer though most of the activities can be automatically done. Next is it will provide more structured and ordered development methodology. So these all are the benefits of case tools. Next let's understand. What are the characteristics of a good case tool? A good case tool should support standard software development methodology and modeling techniques. It should provide an integrated environment for software development. That means all the activities can be done in a common platform. It should be flexible so that user can make necessary changes at any point of time. It should support reverse engineering process that is from the code it should be possible to derive the model design and requirements it must support integration with automated testing tools and it must provide online help so that the developer can use the assistance whenever they are required next is case classification case is usually used for automating the various activities involved during the sdlc phases the typical sdlc phases are planning analysis design implementation testing and maintenance tools that mainly concentrate on the high level activities of sdlc like planning analysis and design are called as upper case tools that is upper case tool will automatically do the planning procedures it will check for the analysis of each and every requirement noted in the srs it will also provide the design models data flow diagrams database design algorithms etc a lower case tool is a tool which will mainly focus on the implementation testing and maintenance phase of a typical software it will automate all those phases like automated testing automated preventive maintenance etc and there is a hybrid category called integrated case tools which will integrate the features of both upper case tools and lower case that is an integrated case tool will automate all the activities associated with a typical software development this is the integrated case architecture the key component of a case system is a central repository the central repository consists of all the documents codings designs models that is already developed in the company or related to our particular project based on the central repository the various other case tools will fetch the information based on the automatic processing it will generate the required output the central repository is integrated with various case tools which will automate the various phases like a project management tool will automate the activities associated with project management prototyping tools will help us to develop a prototype before doing the actual design a configuration management tool will automate the change control version control configuration audit etc a modeling tool will help to generate data flow diagrams hierarchy diagrams structure chart database design etc information security tool will ensure the data security it will decrypt the relevant information and store it in the central repository the analysis and design tool will automate the analysis phases like feasibility analysis requirement prioritization etc the documentation tool will automatically generate the documents the backup and recovery tool will automatically backups and stores the data that is stored in the central repository to a cloud database or a backup server etc and coding support tool will help to automatically generate codes that is 
integrated development environment ides like netbeans eclipse etc are code supporting case tools although the individual case tools are useful the true power of a tool set can be realized only when the set of tools are integrated into a common framework or environment this integration is done with a central case repository the central repository will contain all the required information like product specification requirement documents related reports and diagrams other useful information regarding management scheduling etc next is case taxonomy case taxonomy is the various sort of tools that is available for automating the various activities associated with a typical software development life cycle the diagram tools are the tools that will automate the diagram development process like data flow diagram creation flow chart creation system architecture or structure chart creation etc example for diagram tools are flow chart maker tool which is used for creating state of the art flow chart next is process modeling tools the process modeling tools is used to choose the best software process models like integration of waterfall model and spiral model how to define the increments based on the requirements how many increments should be done in a particular software product all these sort of process modeling techniques can be automatically done using the process modeling tools the project management tools will automate all the management activities like planning scheduling managing people allocation resource allocation etc example tool for project management are creative pro office track project base camp etc next is documentation tools as the name suggests it will automate all the documentation purposes like SRS document creation, design document creation, test document, test report creation, maintenance document creation, user manual creation, etc. Example, Dioxygen, Doctor Explain, Adobe RoboHelp, etc. Next is Analysis Tools. These tools will help to gather requirements, automatically check for any inconsistency. That is, if any of the requirements will contradict with any other requirement in the SRS. and if we assign the priority value then it will automatically sort the requirements based on the priorities example are accept 360 akamba case complete for requirement analysis visibility analyst for total analysis etc next is design tool which will automatically do the design purpose like generating the required algorithms data structures database designs structure charts etc example animated software design next is software configuration management tools which will automate all the configuration management activities like change control version control revision management baseline configuration management etc example tools are fossil git acquery etc next is change control tools which is a type of configuration management tool it will control the changes made by the various people inside the project it is usually used for change control in code management and design management next is programming tools various ids like eclipse netbeans will automatically generate code when we create a class or a method etc these sort of tools which will assist the programmers to automatically generate method definitions class definitions etc are called as programming tools. and the last one is prototyping tools which will automatically generate prototypes and ui designs in a quick manner example mock up builder serena prototype composer etc next is quality assurance tool which is used for automated testing quality assurance quality control activities etc and the last one is maintenance tools software maintenance includes modification in the software product after it is delivered to the customer automatic logging and error reporting techniques are used by automated maintenance tools and based on those error reports and log file it will do the necessary corrections in the code and based on that it will perform the maintenance example hp quality center bugzilla for defect tracking etc next is the advantages and disadvantages of case tools the advantages are the system produced by case tools will have a longer effective operational life it will have an excellent documentation it does not need any other system support and it will be more flexible the disadvantages are it will produce an initial system which is more expensive to build and maintain it may be difficult to customize based on the company's strategies and tactics there is a requirement of training for maintenance staff to 
use the case tools it may be difficult to use it with the existing system which is followed in the IT industry. So in short case tools can be used to automate the various activities involved in software development lifecycle process and thereby reduce the development time and cost. So most of the IT companies are using case tools to automate their SDLC phases. Thank you.